So here we go then with the next of our races here in Belgium on this uh, gang track. The grid for this one lines up as follows after all that qualifying times have been amalgamated together after yesterday. And it gives us once again Berke Besler at the head of the field on pole position for this one. Uh, the Turkish racer doing a grand job so far. He's got Jordan Brown Nutley alongside him, the Brit as we said steps up from juniors for this year on to row number two we then see Jack McCarthy last year's junior champion another one that takes the plunge for this season and Gary Donnelly will be alongside him the Irishman uh, on to row three we then see Nico Lathanen the uh, Finnish racer and Ed Brand who has been up and down the order in seniors over the years he's been fourth in the championship he's been second he's been third but he's yet to grab the first place but maybe this could be the year for him on to the fourth row, we've got Nicholas Scholl, who was our Winter Cup champion, and Luke Van Elms alongside him. Row five then sees uh, Tommy Dre, the Iceman, and Charlie Turner alongside him. Uh, row six then has Sam Marsh and Lars Vark. And then behind that on row number seven is David Remy and Jesper Schoberg. To row eight, we then see Paul Everads and Tom Croydon. To row nine is Lucas Bryan and Casper Corjus. And inside the top 20 on row 10 is Glenn Van Pallies, who made progress in the earlier heats up inside the top 10. Can he do it on a second occasion today? He's got Daniel Matchcheck alongside. Row 11 then has Joel Deputch and Josh Collins. Row 12 is Philip uh, Volshevik and also Amna al -Kabesi. And towards the back is going to be 260, which is uh, David Dishoka who rounds out the 25 starters for this next senior race. So it is going to be our eighth race of the day, ninth race of the day. Again, time escaping us. Ninth race of the day, the third heat for the seniors. So after this one, it will be halfway through the action for this Saturday. But let's see who can pick up uh, the victory this time round. Again, they've been spread evenly so far because we've had two different groups on track. But this could be the first time uh, we get a double winner. Berke Bezler has been one of those. And Jordan Brown Nutley has been one of those as well. And funny enough, both of those start on the front row, uh, which could be interesting. Heading down towards the first corner. Again, it's Berke on the inside. It's Jordan Brown Nutley on the outside run in towards that first turn. You can see, again, a very strawberry racing dominated senior class. Uh, they're all towards the front there. The likes of 266 is also in the mix, which is that of Gary Donnelly and also Jack McCarthy in 218. Of course, the only one that isn't strawberry within those top five is uh, Berke Besler. He races with Bouvon Power, but a very similar uh, livery cart. There's another one behind both of those three rows. We've got 216, which is Nicholas Scholl. Uh, so it's gonna be very fast strawberry racing towards the front. So here they come then through the final corner into formation. Now get once again. They'll go through their grid hatchings. And if everything's okay, 11 laps of senior action will get underway. Berke Bezra a little bit back there. We are going to get a start though as they head down towards turn one. Very good formation uh, from the seniors as they head in towards the first corner. Berke has stole the lead already as he had from pole position. And then who's going to be second? Jordan, I think, is just about held on round the outside. He has uh, to keep himself in second position. Everyone safely through the first couple of corners as they push on now towards turns four uh, through the hairpin they go Berko Besler leads Jordan Brown Nutley is second third place is Jack McCarthy in 218 so he's right there on the back of his teammate and then behind that we've got another a few green and white cars uh, carts sorry which are the likes of uh, Nicholas Shaw, we've got Dar uh, Gary Donnelly in there and also a fairly good start from 205. Sam Marsh, he had a, a good first race inside the top six, I think it was in the end. And he's done another stellar start this time around. So watch out for Sam Marsh in the, his cart. 205 works his way down towards the final corner behind the leaders, who is still Berke Besler. Just pulled away at the end of this first lap. So Berke has a, a fairly good lead. Second, third, fourth, all pretty much together as a concertina up towards turn one. Uh, that, of course, is led by Jack McCarthy. Jordan Brown Nutley has now dropped down to third. And Nicholas, uh, sorry, Nico Leighton is there in fourth position. He's in cart uh, 258 for now as they work their way onto this second lap. And towards the hairpin once more. They're going to have to be a, very, a bit more careful this time around because the teammates are together, which uh, kind of gave us a, a fraught, ri fraught race sorry, at uh, the Winter Cup between Axel Charpentier and his teammate uh, Mark Kimbuck. But I'm sure the seniors will have learned that over the years to always respect your teammates. Even in a, a race situation. So through they come. So the completion of this lap as well. Berke Bezla started to be closed in on now by Jack McCarthy. 
Jordan Bradley is still with them as well, just a couple of tenths of a second adrift of the top two. But this could be a good run onto the start finish line. He looks over his shoulder uh, to see that Nika Leitonen is there as well. Is there going to be a change for the lead? The Strawberry Racing Boys trying to get through on the Bouvon Power Berke Bezlacart, which turns its way still in the lead on the exit of turn at number two on towards the first of the hairpins on this lap and look at that now all three guys behind us down the inside goes Jack McCarthy our junior champion from last year best result was here where he clinched the championship at the end of 2015 and it's looking good so far here in this second heat for himself through the little chicane he goes at turn number five on towards the next of the hairpins at turn seven and has Berke Bezler been shuffled down even further I think he's down to fourth, possibly fifth now as more and more are coming into the mix. Down towards the right-hander at turn number eight. And what can they do about Jack McCarthy? There's more drama. Berke Bezler has been hung out to dry. And the one that was involved with him there was 2-5-8 by the looks of it, which uh, is Nico Leitonen, who was fourth at the end of that previous lap. He's now going to be fourth, sixth, eighth, tenth, eleventh possibly as they come through to the completion of lap number three. Uh, another change of the lead looking to be happening down at turn one because Jack McCarthy has his teammate Jordan Brown Nutley hassling him once more. No opportunity to get through there. Nothing to choose between the top two for now. As they work their way onto the back straight. Slightly better run there from Jordan as he tries to get into the uh, toe of Jack McCarthy. Again, then he backs out of it as they hit the anchors down at turn number five. Well, let's try and work out who's now got into third place. It's going to be Gary Donnelly by the looks of it in car 266. And then in there as well, you've got Sam Marsh again making tremendous progress. He's made his way onto the tail of Nicholas Scholl. And then just behind them is going to be 209 Berke Bezler, the recovering uh, Berke Bezler from that uh, incident just a lap ago down towards turn eight. Uh, the leaders work their way through the final corner, up, still as they were, Jack McCarthy and Jordan Brown Nutley. Uh, probably get about one car in between them but that is about it because that's going to close down at turn number one again the, the door is slammed in Jordan Brown Nutley's face no way for him to get through so Jack McCarthy is a, a canny racer again he's been around for a few years and of course being a champion you know how to win championships so that's why he races uh, to the ability he does he works his way out at turn number four let's look at the three or four carts behind they seem to be getting a little bit closer now that's uh, Gary Donnelly in third uh, fourth place then is Nicholas Scholl and then behind that Sam Marsh is still there and Berkey Bezler is joining them once more in sixth place so uh, those are the six near enough for the lead now because the top two have been caught whilst they've been working their way around this circuit of course trying to make uh, places up and of course switch themselves around but it still remains McCarthy ahead of Brown Nutley in towards the final turn they go not quite that race half distance as of yet but it's probably racing one two three and four they down towards the first corner here comes Jordan Bradley this time for a move at turn one he takes with him the man in third place which was Gary Donnelly so again Jack McCarthy on this occasion left the door open which meant those two went through and now Jack McCarthy may be playing the game here he knows what he's doing he knows he doesn't really want to be in the lead of the race come the end uh, then you can try and make your moves on the final lap because if you are in the lead on the penultimate lap you then are under attack and you have to spend your whole lap behind those in front of you so it might be a, a good ploy here to get Jack McCarthy into third and stay there for a couple of laps and then charge uh, towards the end but for now Jordan Brown Nutley is our lead up second place then we see Gary Donnelly third place for Jack McCarthy fourth place behind that is then going to be Nicholas Scholl uh, fifth place is Berke Bezler and sixth place for Sam Marsh so it's top four for Strawberry then Bouvon and then there's more drama at the final corner and that involves everyone behind those six drivers coming through there is Ed Brand in car 204 uh, let's see if we oh and there's more contact at turn one there someone nearly rode over the back that was a uh, Luke Valelms with Berke Besler possibly who again has been shuffled down there's a good battle on for second as well as uh, Jordan Brown Nutley squeezed his way through on Jack McCarthy on that occasion and uh, again it's all changed uh, towards the front so there's lots going on amongst these front runners there's lots going on further back as well six once again vying for the lead uh, Ed Brown has just about worked his way uh, from those trailing carts behind there you can see 220 which is uh, David Remy that now comes into the mix so definitely Berko Besler dropped down and I feel it was uh, Luke Valelms who kind of rode over his rear wheel into the first corner on that occasion so he has now uh, found himself a long way down after the win earlier on today but out front, still leading, is Jordan Brown Nutley. Second for Gary Donnelly. Uh, Sam Marsh and Jack McCarthy were the two close for company 
uh, on the uh, previous lap at turn three. There goes Sam Marsh again making progress. He's up into second place. What a storming ride uh, this is beginning to be for Sam Marsh. He, of course, was down on the sixth row of the grid, down in 11th position. Sam Marsh could be a winner in this third senior race of the day. He's now just got one more car to get past. That is Jordan Brown Nutley, the junior man from last year, who heads down the back straight in towards turn number five. Let's just quickly run you through the order. It's Jordan Brown Nutley that leaves. Sam Marsh is second. Third is Gary Donnelly. This could all change, though. Don't forget. Fourth place was Jack McCarthy. He's now trying to be third as he runs side by side on the exit of the hairpin. And he's saying to uh, Gary Donnelly alongside, come on, mate, we need to work together. We need to catch those top two. Let's stop messing about. So they are your top four. Fifth, then, is going to be Nicholas Scholl. And sixth place is David Remy in cart 220. And then Ed Brand is still trying his best to catch up, which he may just do before this race is over. Three laps to go as they head across the line. Down in towards turn one once more. The leader has a margin of four-tenths of a second over Sam Marsh, who is still defending uh, from those behind. He's all got to be wary of what they may do and where the lunges may appear from. So Sam Marsh just very cautious at the minute. He'll try and catch as best possible the race leader, Jordan Brown Nutley, but at the same time, he'll have to be uh, watching brief on those behind because anything could change at any single time here. And uh, David Remy, as always, one to look, watch out for. Cart 220 there, the distinctive colours of orange and black. He is just turning his way now through the hairpin at turn number seven. There is David Remy towards the back. Ed Brand is the one just behind that with the slight gap. And then the two behind that is Burke Besler and Charlie Turner, who, of course, had solid results earlier on. But uh, Jordan Brown, now, if he continues like this, he'll be on for his second win of the day. And it looks like he's pulling out the gap as well as uh, running wide there or being pushed wide with Jack McCarthy onto the main start finish line. So he's now been bumped back down to fifth place. He sits just in front of David Remy in cart 220. And David's looking to make a move before too much longer as well. As they work their way through the left-hander at turn uh, number three. On towards the hairpin at turn four. Any moves this time? Not by the looks of it. Although there is their third and fourth change. Uh, because Nicholas Scholl came through on that occasion uh, to get past Gary Donnelly. So the teammates not giving, it, giving anyone any room whatsoever. As Ed Brand makes two, two places up at turn five. He goes past David Remig and also past uh, Gary Donnelly at the same time by the looks of it. So as they work their way through uh, the hairpin that time, Jordan Brown Nutley's lead now uh, grows from what it was. For, in fact, no, it might not be there because Sam Marsh has pulled away as well. So the top two have broke from third and fourth, which is um, Nicholas Shaw. Very similar numbers on those two cars, Nicholas Shaw and Jack McCarthy. And then Ed Brand is fifth and sixth is possibly Gary Donnelly, is it? Yes, it is. Uh, he sits there in sixth position. And again, they've spread themselves out in two, two, and then kind of everybody else behind that, just inside uh, the top ten places. So we are now on to what will be the last lap of the race, because we've got the final lap on your screens. We've got one lap left on the gantry as well. So Jordan Brown Nutley is looking good here at the minute, but can he hold on for the next three or four corners? He works his way through the right-hander of turn number six. Just trying to work out what's happening for third as well because that could be very close towards the checker flag. That's uh, Jack McCarthy and Nicholas Shaw. I think it's Nicholas, yep, who is still ahead in third. And Jack McCarthy now down to fourth place. But Jordan Brown Nutley, what a day it's been so far. A win in his first senior race earlier on. And it's going to be two out of two for Jordan Brown Nutley. He works his way to the checker flag. What a drive that had been. Jordan Brown Nutley comes through. He takes the spoils after a tremendous drive once more. He finishes ahead of Sam Marsh, who again has had a, a tremendous ride through the field there. He came from row number six, did Sam, and there was nothing to stop him getting to the lead there. If he had a few more laps, he may have just got it done. But he comes through in second. Nicholas Scholl ends up in third. Jack McCarthy, again, very positive in fourth place. Ed Brand picks out the top five. Gary Donnelly was sixth. David Remy was seventh. Charlie Turner then in eighth place. Ahead of Burke Besler from pole position, dropped down to ninth place. Uh, Nico Leitonen was then in tenth ahead of number 230, which was that of Everad. And then behind that, we saw the lights of Luke Vallelms, who dropped four places in that race to finish up in 12th position. So again, action-packed race from the seniors, not holding back whatsoever. But Jordan Brown Nutley has got to be very, very happy with that. Puts him in one of the strongest positions so far today. He's looking good for pre-final pole, which would be uh, a real good job after his first ever races within the senior category. So he takes the victory by just under half a second. Sam Marsh comes home second. And Nicholas Scholl rounds out the top three uh, for that senior race. And we've still got one more of those to come in a few.